I'm totally ready. <laughs> My first <laughs> question for you is, you have a background in theater. How did that prepare you for your acting on screen? Um, oh yeah, great question. I think, uh, I think the thing about theater is that you get seven or six weeks rehearsal if you're lucky. So you can really get underneath a character. And I think you really have to really explore a character in, in, in their complete fullness in order to be able to do eight shows a week. Um, and yeah, so I think maybe there's like a, a nerdiness with theatre that helps when preparing for like a role like Anthony Bridgerton. Um, what's interesting about this show as well is that there's so many theatre actors that are in this show. And I think that's, you know, testament to Shondaland, but also to Netflix, because, you know, a lot of, I think, TV in national TV is dependent on big stars. So it's amazing that we, there's a few of us that all really knew each other, like Golda, who plays the Queen, Adjua, who plays Lady Danbury, and, and Ruth, who plays the Mum, and Luke Thompson, who plays Benedict. We've all seen each other on stage or were, were with each other again. So it's like been, it's like really like nice to have that sort of tribe, I think. And with Shondaland being pretty iconic here in the States, I mean, Shonda ha owns a night of television. <laughs> um, yeah. What was it like joining kind of the Shondaland family? Well, you know what? It was kind of really sort of elegant and graceful. Um, it was so sort of kind of chic. They, we, I did a, an audition and then went over to America and I was invited in to go and to meet them all. And we just had a really lovely chat, cup of tea, talked about family, talked about um, the role of may, like men in society then and now. Um, and, you know, our own relationships with our family and ourselves. And, and yeah, and at the end of the meeting, they were like, what do you think about playing Anthony? I was like, yeah, and, you know, and they sent me three scripts and I was on my way to Coachella Music Festival and I read them on the way. And um, it was somewhere between, um, I think it was Ariana Grande and Apollo, like Apollo and Pan. It was between those two sets that I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And, and, then, uh, and then after that, it was great. And I was part of the Shondaland family and what better family to be in, you know, anyone who champions diversity and inclusivity and holds a mirror up to society in the way they do, you know, I'm always going to be, you know, incredibly proud of that association. Absolutely. And the show explores arranged marriages, was forbidden love, and kind of the gossip of the British high society. What was your favorite moment from working on set? Um, favorite moment would be when all the Bridgerton family come together, I think, because we, we all so got on, <laughs> we got on so well, dangerously well, that there was, there was a lot of um, hysteria on set and, you know, actually Claudia and I both cry when we laugh, which was a real issue. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, they were just like amazing days and those big family scenes would take, you know, like eight hours to film, um, but it was never, it, there was never a dull moment. So yeah, when we, when we all finally got together for those big scenes, it was pretty much, it was riotous. And what was your process for developing the character of Anthony? Um, I, don't, I think when you sort of respond well to a character, like, I did with Anthony, just like ideas start popping up. But the, the thing that I was really, really wanted to do was to like, to play, you know, make sure that he, you challenge an audience to like him. Um, because I know that he really does mean well and that he's a very kind man and that, you know, he'd do anything for his family. Um, but, you know, you can, you can really push the boundaries with just how, you know, how much he hurts himself and other people around him and have real fun with that. Um, and also knowing that, you know, there's a lot, of hopefully more to come in the future um, and we kind of when reading the books you can see where he ends up so, so you know he hopefully will end up with a smile on his face and uh, and have a lot of fun in the process um, until he gets there I think. And with Bridger Bridgerton being a period piece how does it relate to the world of today? There's so much I think that's in Bridgerton that is so modern I think the idea of Lady Whistledown um, social commentary seems to me like you know that's Twitter I think <laughs> Um, the need for them to present themselves in a certain way and to look a certain way and to, to, to appear to be okay is Instagram. And um, I think the balls, um, you know, represent a, a very real life um, live action Tinder. Um, so yeah, so basically we've got all the social apps um, encapsulated in corsets and those corsets have Velcro, um, you know, and that's the way that I think, uh, you know, we can make it relevant and, and exciting for a modern audience. 